welcome to that good Broncos. Uh, live in Kauai, Hawaii. Proof. Boom. So, Tony Romo says uh, he's retiring and I'm on vacation. And all morning I just wanted to make a, uh, a fucking video and talk about it a little bit. So, thanks for joining me everybody. I see uh, all of your comments coming in. Some people are happy Tony Romo retired. Some people are happy Tony Romo will be replacing Phil Simms at CBS. And some people are saying I got a bad internet connection. Hmm. Well, you know, I'm wa it's Wi-Fi by the pool. What can you do? Uh. I uh. Hold on. Say hi, Jess. Hi, everyone. We're having a fabulous honeymoon. So, Tony Romo not gonna play for the Broncos. Uh. <clears throat> it's interesting interesting I think I think everybody who watches knows I'm a I'm a big Trevor Simeon fan I think another year of playing we'll we'll see how good Trevor can be it's no guarantee he's gonna be great but uh, I think what I've seen of Simeon is that he can be a good quarterback for the Broncos uh, and they have Paxton Lynch and we really don't know what he's capable of and that's the the tough thing about having young quarterbacks. There's no position in the NFL more uncertain than the quarterback position. I think with Tony Romo, we the Broncos would have would have gotten a quarterback who would have made them a but he had health problems. We know that. So that was the gamble with Romo. The question is the is the gamble of Romo staying healthy more than the gamble of your young quarterbacks developing into uh, something good. Sorry the stream quality well, somebody says it's good, and somebody says it sucks. I don't know. But anyway, uh, I'm fine rolling with Simeon and Lynch, seeing what we got. It would have been exciting to get Tony Romo. I think he would have uh, made the Broncos good. I don't know if he would have been able to stay healthy. But uh, what's potato cam? Why do you keep saying potato? Uh, you better watch your mouth, Chase. I will punch you in the teeth. Um... I don't know what she saw in me, to be honest, Mr. Timanity. Uh, I'm not sure I am really excited to we'll be placing, replacing Phil Sims. To me, they seem like they will be in the uh, basically the same type of commentator. I'm a little disappointed CBS didn't fucking call me, to be honest. Not a call, not a text, nothing. Sorry it's pixelated, I'm by the pool, so the Wi-Fi reach is probably shitty. Do I think Romo is the best Cowboys quarterback? No, I think Dak Prescott is currently their best quarterback. Um, I don't know why you would say you fucked my mom's vagina. That has nothing to do with football. Uh, there are veteran quarterbacks still out on the market, so that's what's going to be interesting. Do the Broncos go after some of the guys available? I don't know. I think they have some cap space to maybe make a trade. They still got to solidify that uh, left tackle position. So we'll see what happens. But Romo deciding to retire, surprising? Not necessarily, but I think we all thought he would at least uh, explore the opp opportunity of playing for the Broncos or the Texans. So... Now we, we roll with the young guys. That's just just the way we do it. I think Simeon's going to have a good year. He was hurt. He was hurt pretty bad for most of last season. And the game before he got hurt, that was the Bengals game when he played maybe his best football. So we'll see. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the stream. Sorry if it, it's going in and out. I will maybe try again later, but probably not because I'm doing it. I am doing this and talking about football. There's a chance for, for Paxton Lynch. Um, he's got to play well in the OTAs and training camp and preseason. 
But I think that uh, Simeon will win the starting job. Uh, Tom is a bitch. I'm assuming you mean Tom Brady, so sure. DT, redemption year. 15 touchdowns, 1,800 yards. Uh, maybe not that many, but DT could have a big year. Uh, running game needs to be better. Offensive line needs to be better. It's same problems they had last season on offense. Uh, I have no idea where Kaepernick will end up. Honestly, probably the best place for him to end up is in San Francisco with Kyle Shanahan, but that's not happening, I don't think. So I would take a flyer on Kaepernick. Uh, he might not be a good quarterback anymore, but he's also had to spend the last two seasons playing with pretty shitty head coaches in Chip Kelly and Jim Tom Sula. He wasn't just bad. The whole organization was bad. So, you know. Whatever. I think Kaepernick will find a place. And that's it. Six minutes. That's enough. That's enough on vacation. CJ Anderson should ba bounce back from his meniscus surgery. I think he'll have a, a good year. I have faith in CJ. I mean, he played a really good game with a fucked up knee. So, Okay, thanks for tuning in. I just want to talk about Tony Romo. It's kind of crazy. He retired when I'm on fucking vacation and I can't even make a proper video. So guess what? Guess who I don't like anymore? Tony Romo for his stupid timing. Don't know who will be left tackle, but there are possibilities. Thanks for watching. That's good, bro. Because CW Hemp, promo code, that's good. CWHemp.com, Charlotte's Web Hemp Oil.